Hey coin collectors and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today it's a 1959 US nickel. We have both the Philadelphia Mint nickel here and the Denver Mint nickel. So let's look at the front. It says, in God we trust in the front. Liberty back here in the back, 1959. In 1959 they moved back to the small star between the Liberty and the 1959. And let's take a look at that. So here between the word Liberty and the D date 1959, there's a star there. And from 1938 until 1956, it was this small star. And then in 1957 and 1958, they made this larger star to kind of see how it looked and see if it worked. The dies didn't really stamp it very well. And you got these kind of bulbous, almost like these cartoony stars. So they went back in 1959 after two years of, of the large stars to the small star again. At the Philadelphia Mint, they made proof coins. So they made 1.1 million proof coins. The proof coins aren't hugely valuable. Um, so if you get a, a proof 69, which is as high as they've got them graded, I think it goes up to about $300. One of the things you'll almost never see on a 1959 coin is the steps on the back. Way over on the side you see a D for the Denver Mint. In 1959 they made 161 million. They made a huge number. In an MS-65, this is worth $22. In a MS-66 plus MS-67, it's worth two to $3,000. So a couple thousand dollars if you can get the five full steps. This one does not have the mint mark on it. So that means that this is a Philadelphia coin. If you can get this in a circulating, PCGS says there's nine MS-67s. NGC says there's 18. Both of them say it's worth over $5,000 if you can get the... 1969 Philadelphia in an MS-67. 